Hey guys, so I'm taking the Bandit Pacer uh, to a local bike shop to see if I can do any compare video with Aventon. I think they're supposed to have Aventon. I'm not sure if they have it in stock. So the Pacer actually one of the bike which very similar to level commuter bike because the suspension the pace from Aventon it's uh, without suspension front so it's a little bit lighter so we'll see we'll see if I can do it or not and um, I like the pay the pacer because any bandit bikes actually starts I believe from zero which is give, give you a very good safety future so your bike will not get crazy uh, without reason sometimes most of the bike starts with a level one and we do have some road work over here so we'll see it's about maybe two miles right but we'll check out the store i'm not sure if i'm gonna record it in the store if they allow it probably not maybe next time but i want to see like um if uh, they do have Aventon right now because i think they have it um, a few models as they told me but they're supposed to get new model like uh pace pace 3 i believe and Aventure 2 which is very similar to the troxus uh, the bike i reviewed uh, so yeah we have some road work which might take another month so probably will not do any speed test over here for months so we'll see actually uh, this bike uh, 500 watt power uh, but it's uh, more than enough to ride in the cities unless you have very steep hills and i think you can still climb on the hills because this bike uh pretty uh, have good everything to climb it basically you have uh, seven gears which should allow you to pedal it up to the hill as well and the bike actually rides really soft and nice like it feels like solid bike city bike um the handles i like it it's very comfortable to hold it it's cruiser style but i guess city cruiser or city ride commuter style because the way you're holding it very comfortable and nice grips okay so i made it to the store bike store it's not a large store but they do have few models uh one is a uh, level and another level two i'm gonna try to make a little bit compare and to show you the difference as you can see this one is a uh, level versus to bandit spacer actually um as you can see they're about the same size from the distance but i believe this uh, level i guess one are m and large so they also come at smaller size i believe s and m or something like that uh, with the bandit they comes only in two type spacer uh, step over and spacer step through uh, which makes it kind of easier to pick one so let's uh, look on the level and it's an older model actually and it looks nice with zoom uh, fork as the uh, wheels and uh, tires looks about the same as you can see even the reflectors very similar i noticed i'm not sure if they never put the light but i noticed uh, the pacer have a rack a space where you can put but aventon does not have like so it's kind of and the battery also on the button and uh, that's a uh, kind of difference Aventon uh, motor 500 watt up to 750 peak and it does have nice derailleur which is XR and um, nice grips I like those grips it's uh, almost the same as an uh, Troxus uh, same uh, uh, thumb throttle same as Troxus actually and uh, nice display I think the same display used on the uh, electric XP so it's a uh, I think it's 5m display which is kind of 
basic, but it gave you all the information you basically need. Also, as you can see, it's come with a trigger shifting by Shimano, 8 gear, which is good. And I notice the Aventon level 1, I guess, does not have tail light. So it's just basic rack. And I'm not sure if the price already includes the rack. But as you can see, with Pacer, it has nice, large and solid rack. And the rack looks like they can handle about the same weight, which is 55 pounds or 25 kilo as you can see it's about the same on both of the bikes and um, it's just a little bit different size of the rack as well and it's not bad rack on Edmonton but again it's a little bit different it's a little bit totally different actually but again um, as you can see th th they're a little bit different design different frame type and that's a difference in those bikes i also noticed the difference in quick release both of them come with quick release but as you can see the fork the ending it's a kind of different attachment so it works a little bit different than traditional fork like this as a with quick release open uh, fork so Again, um, looks like a uh, different um, way they're attaching the fenders on both of the fork. And uh, Aventon using the Zoom branded fork. And it's uh, aluminum fenders. While the Bandit Pacer, it's a plastic fenders. But the fork, nevertheless, the quality looks the same or even maybe even better. I test them both and they work perfectly fine to me. And both of them come with a um, locking mechanism and a uh, load adjustment. Aventon using the Bengal hydraulic brakes and um, Bandit Pacer using the NAT hydraulic disc brakes. Both of them uh, should work fine on this type of bicycle since it's not uh, as heavy bicycle and hydraulic brakes with 180 millimeter disc brakes should do the good job i went on bikes come with a thumb throttle as you can see it come with a branded uh, motor 500 watt and um, the spacer come with just generic motor with no brand on it since this new Aventon level 2, so I want to show you also the level 2 and to show you the difference between level 1. So level 1 have no tail light and the frame as you can see have no tail light. With level 2 it has built in integrated tail light on the sides. It's kind of great but at the same time if you have any luggage on your uh, rack uh, you don't get any like tail light or brake light other than reflector on the back the seat looks the same uh, on both of them and i noticed the seat about the same as on the pacer so as you can see the frame looks about the same on both of the bikes level two and um, level one the fork looks the same by zoom so i didn't see much difference there um about the same uh, braking system also didn't see much difference at all so again everything else looks the same the uh, headlight looks like nice metal headlight uh, actually the same as in uh, troxus bike explore and the frame has a space where you can attach the bottles charge the battery and of course to remove the battery there's a key on the side the battery it's uh, on both of the bikes battery removes from the button which is okay and um Aventon 2 does have a usb port uh and it's not bad it's one usb port versus to uh Aventon 1 has no usb port at all but the pacer come with two usb ports which is even better so they have two type of usb port and um, again uh, they are very similar aspect wise but they are different bicycles the level 2 come with a um, sensor like a torque sensor on over here so basically the more you torque place the sensor inside it will um, send the signals to motor to give more power so if you want to ride faster you have to really pedal it 
And about the frame, as you can see with the welding parts over here, looks really neat and clean. Uh, some bicycles use different type of welding, so Eventon, I guess they have their own fabric, they do their own frames. And the Bandit has a really nice uh, frame as well, so I think the both of them good quality bikes. Again, the price difference kind of... Um, big difference and that's what you may want to consider as well Eventon come with nice colorful display and um, it has it's not as large nice remote where you can change pedal assist it come with five level of pedal assist with torque sensor as I told you and uh, bandit bike has a unique NFC unlocking options. Also, the handlebar, it's one much more comfortable, I noticed. And as you can see, it's a nice looking bike. And it comes with 28 inch wide handlebar, which is more like city or beach cruiser type of bike. Uh, handlebar uh, which is wide and comfortable to hold because of the grips are very nice and soft um, it will give you much better long range uh, running experience why it's a larger uh, display it comes with adjustable steam which allow you to adjust the handlebar you want to hold so it will give you better position riding position which is very important as well when you are riding the city bike as well i'm going to put another video in the description so you can check more information about the pacer also i'll put link in description about edmonton all right so i've been in this store jb bike shop number two actually this uh, store i get my bike assembled one of the uh, mountain bike maybe over 10 years ago they are a nice small business store and they carry Aventon so you might if you live in a Tanoga Park area or around you may check them out and sometimes it's good to buy from a local store uh, for a few reasons because you can get service done inside they will assemble it professionally also if any problems you can bring them back and they'll do all the claims and replace them for you but um, again um, bandit company are new but they are trying to get to the same level i guess hopefully uh, from my just experience i just uh, took the bike um, i didn't go for a ride but i can feel the difference in uh, quality uh, the bikes actually uh, well made, nice frames. Um, they use the same basic parts mostly, like in other brand like Troxus have. And um, as a frame wise, looks like the one I checked them out. It was a medium size to large, and the larger one would be different a little bit. It would be a little bit larger. The weight feels like they're pretty heavy as well, like about 60 to 65 pounds, even the small frame. So I'm gonna make a video, like compare about Edmonton level and probably the Bandit and also level two. So you guys get some idea. And uh, riding wise, I think actually Bandit might be better for some people just, like than level one because not only it, it comes with a better handlebar looks like for city and position like you can adjust I like it a lot better but I think the Bandit much slicker looking bike actually well made quality wise it looks good and i also noticed that i forgot to turn on the stabilization on the gopro as you can see it's not as good quality video and again um also it uh, was recorded in nero mode so i went there just uh, have like one hour and check them out but i plan to make some compare quality compare video later on once i have time but after checking them out, I still feel now more solid about the Bandit Pacer and also rest of the bicycles I carry. 
uh, the base actually is a uh, um, kind of entry level they have by price wise only twelve hundred dollars and with hundred dollars off in description you can get it for eleven hundred so it makes about at least four hundred or with a level cheaper than level or about 700 cheaper than level 2 which makes a big difference again um, everything um, depend what you're looking for but if you're looking for nice uh, city bicycle with handlebar like comfortable like this and with adjustable steam I think the Pacer really good to go with because it has six pedal assist levels which makes more comfortable and better controlled uh, riding experience for me again um, I like the torque sensor which makes also something to consider but if you're looking for budget price I think the Pacer is a really great bicycle to go with if you're looking for full suspension check out the link in description for Bandit X-Trail uh, I think it's even better quality and a really solid bicycle highly recommend to check them out and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video